Well, last week, this was pretty much all frozen up, except there's some pocket water here. And I put a caster mount set with a 1216 right here. And I didn't catch anything, um, a muskrat actually, but no beaver. And, um, but this is my caster mound from last week and it's smashed down. So I know they, uh, as this ice melted, they came, <gasps> pardon me, they came through. So I'm gonna rebuild it. I'm just gonna use some, some mud to make a new caster mound. <sighs> and, uh, I'm gonna make it really look like something came in here and really kinda jacked up the place. Oh yeah. There we go. That's beautiful. Now I'm just gonna put my 1216 right in front of it for a comparison, guys. This is a 330. Awesome traps, reliable. This is a 1216. They are a pain in the butt to have a bunch of them because they are heavy and they're expensive. But having like, I got four of them. This is really close to my house, easy to pack to. Man, they're friggin' sweet. I absolutely love them. I really like them for under ice beaver trapping too because it gives me a little bit more room for, uh, not exactly being perfect on the run if I'm doing some conibear sets under the ice. But um, overall, I absolutely love these traps, except for the, the safeties. Um, if M and B could change out these safeties, they'd be unstoppable. Um, other than that though, M and B makes a friggin' fantastic trap here so I'm just wiring my my safeties back so they don't come back on my trap I like having my triggers up I'm just gonna set that right down in there like that take some side stakes oh man there we go basically blocking it off so their only mode of entry is through my trap now I did this last time too I put the wire on the wrong side but whatever it'll work all this looping around back here oh that's a nice solid oh that's not gonna work those are all loosey-goosey can't attach to that There we go. Always wire your conibears bears off. Because you can get random catches. Like. Feet and tails. It's very, very uncommon. But. First off, you owe it to the game. Not to lose it. Well, to the fur bear. Not to lose them. And you also owe it to yourself. Um, you don't want to be losing traps. It's expensive and it looks poorly on trappers. So no matter what you're doing, always wire them down. Here I got some Dobbins backbreaker. And that's the thing guys about trapping is there's a lot of things that aren't actually regulations, but you should do as ethical common sense trappers because a lot of times 
a guy is technically legal, but doing something inappropriate, which causes places to lose trapping. So always be ethical, forward thinking with how you trap. Well, would you look at that dandy sucker? Got myself a beef. Yeah, 1216. And um, he was caught coming back in. That's really cool. I was telling you guys before, sometimes they won't come right into your caster. They'll come up around and then dive back through. So that's what happened there. That is really cool. Pretty one. Um, nice size beaver actually. Decent sized tail. <laughs> Definitely um, an adult. So that's awesome. Back here. <laughs> Making a caster mount, repoked my finger. <laughs> Anyways, I just got my caster mount made, MB750 set. I just got my stake uh, sharpened, and here's my old stake. That's a little short. I'm gonna put my new stake here, attach it to my cable, toss the bag out. So here's stake. Here's my wire I'm gonna use. Go. Should be in good. Here's my cable. Okay. And this, the way this works is this is going to attach to that chain. It can only slide up but not down, and it'll be anchored with this bag of sand. So, slide this up, go through, attach it at the base. We go around here twice, like this, and then twist it tight at the end. So, there you go. Now, I'm just gonna attach my trap with this quick link. Oh, here we go, quick linked on. All right, now, I'm just gonna slide that to that end. It's important to make sure that's going the right way, otherwise this doesn't work. But kind of run out of light. It's beautiful, last set of the day. So I don't know exactly how deep this is. Jeez, geese flying over us. But run this out. Jeez. Can I come out here all the way? And just gonna drop this right here. So, about waist deep, that's plenty deep. And now I'm gonna try not to step on it. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna plant my trap here. What I need now is I need little bump sticks. This keeps, this makes the beaver put his feet down. So, my trap, MB750, these hangs are awesome. I'm gonna play this deep. I had a lot of misses today. I'm not gonna repeat that. Just catching belly fur, it's not fun. But these are called bump sticks. Ugh. So pretty much, I'm putting them right at the edge. You kinda of gotta be careful not to snap your finger off here. But put these on the outside edge. This just makes that beaver put his feet down. He'll feel this, start swimming in here, and once he hits it on his chest, he'll put his feet down. So, I'll put another little guy here. Perfect. Okay, so now, splash water on my trap, on my set, and I'm just gonna jab all these in here. All these sticks Nathan collected for me. And this will try to hopefully make it so he comes in at the right angle. Hopefully I'm not grunting too much. <laughs> All right. Get this out of the way a little bit. Okay, losing light fast here. Try to hurry up. All right. 
we go. A couple behind it. This helps goose proof it too. All right. So now I got her pretty much. I want it. I'll. I like to break apart some of these fibers and these fibers contrast really well against that dark sand here let's go ahead throw some more of these just make it look like a beaver came over and is in his territory and he won't like that so there a couple more of these up here Step on this. Fortify it from that way a little way. And the last step, most important step probably, is putting bait on this. So, have some beaver lure. This is beaver caster. So pretty much this guy, this beaver from this lodge, is gonna come over at night and he'll smell this. And each beaver has a particular caster. So everyone smells different. A beaver knows what what uh, what um, the local beavers castor, casters smell like. So he'll come and he'll smell this, and he'll know that a beaver came into his territory. So he'll go investigate. And this is the way they mark their territory. So they think, oh man, a new beaver's in here. So he's gonna come over here and stomp around on the set and hopefully get caught right there. So. Hopefully tomorrow when we check this, we'll have a beaver. <laughs> Hopefully. Oh, that's a big beaver. Look at that. Jeez. No. He's frozen in the water, so he's he's dead. Dude, he drug the rocks up. That's a nice one. <laughs> oh, gosh, this is the one. Missed one in it yesterday. <sighs> Finally got her. It's a nice beaver. Jeez, you got all hung up here. Ben says there's something here. I think he's just pulling my chain. <laughs> Literally, that's where the word came from. <laughs> so, so there's something pulling his chain. So let's see, get an underwater shot. Yeah, yeah. We'll see here in a second. Growing. Oh, I'm just facing the wrong way. Uh, <laughs> good enough for me. Oh. It's a pretty good beaver. All right. <laughs> All right. This is the third uh, drowner set I'm going to be doing. Uh, submerging set and uh, yeah, so I've already got the line out, got the bag out there and it's made a caster. I just, I haven't got any muskrat traps out today. It's been primarily beaver sets. But this is my last, I had three. I took two MB 750s with me. And then this uh, Victor number four, double long spring. And uh, I got two 330s, which I scouted some area down there where I'm gonna set it at. So got this boy set. So I'm gonna finish this set and then I'm gonna go get some 330s in. Done. Dope, dude. There she is. Nice, dude. 
I thought it was a rat at first. I'm like, we got a rat. And then it, I, all of a sudden the head Dude, came yeah, up. Yeah, look at like, that. A little bit bigger. Nice. What? Inside the head? Let's take a look at those catches. At, at that catch. Yeah. You know oh, what? Oh, dude. It cabled here, but luckily the, it wrapped around his foot. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't pulling out either, dude. No. Full back foot with that MB750. Yeah. As we saw yesterday. Grabbing See, that's why I don't like the offset on Beaver. Yeah. Because, like, you give that thing an offset right there, he might be able to slip exactly. through. Exactly. Yeah. <coughs> awesome job, Ben. I want to move that. Big old fat conifer going on here, huh? Hey. <laughs> here, Ben, you want to film? Yeah, yeah bud. Yeah. Oh, Nathan's got him. Oh. oh man, how did he make it that far? I wonder. How in the hell did he make it like that with a 330 right there? There we go. <laughs> Shows you how tough they are. Ugh. We'll take him. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, put this drowner in yesterday. It's next to the beaver lodge that's on the river right there. Coming up, and uh, I see that the foothold is gone, and the cable is tight. So hopefully we don't just have a tow. Or a set trap off. Hopefully we got an actual beaver in this. How are we feeling? Uh, feeling decent. I see it. <laughs> nice job, Ben. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, that's, a, that's a small guy right Hind there. foot. How'd you catch him? By the caster. What? Hold on. Holy crap. <laughs> oh, dude, I'm so sorry. Oh, my gosh. No way. How does that happen? Beaver caught by caster. <laughs> I have never seen or heard of that. We got a first out here on the trap line. That's going to George. That's a that's a decent beaver. Yeah, show it up. Let me see that thing. You know? That's wild. I'll take that. Yeah, turn around. Let me see the back for this. So here we go. <laughs> Ben with the beaver caught by the caster. I'll remember that forever, I tell you <laughs> what. All right, hope there's a beaver. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Ugh. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh, by one toe. One toe away. That's all I had him by. In the old school, number four. Let me get this guy out of the trap. There you have it. Mr. Beaver. Just turned 20 today. Caught three beavers today too. That's a good birthday present. Got a beaver and a drowner. Nathan's gonna grab it for us. Don't trip on the drowning cable. Yeah, you do. Ooh, that's not too bad. No. There we go. Lift her up, Nate. Yeah, she's hung up a little bit, but not too bad, Nate. Yeah. Yep, we're gonna pull this set and pull the beaver. Okay, what we got going on here, Nate? Trap is officially gone. Look at all the damage. Oh, oh, what do we got, oh, what we got there? Oh. It's not big, but we'll take it. Hell yeah! A little baby beaver. 
Little baby beaver, but we will take him. Nathan's second beaver of all time. Let's see him, Nate. I'll take him. Oh, yeah. Really Let's nice. see that catch. Lift that up. Look at the catch on that TS-85. perfect by back foot catch right Holy there. Holy crap, high and tight, no kidding. We will take it, honestly. It's probably only a 25 pounder. Yeah, but, but still, well, awesome cares? job, bud. Hell yeah. We're not big And nice for carrying back to camp, too. Woo! Beautiful, they're so pretty, though. I I'll know. I'll probably still put them on my wall. We'll That's make awesome. Make spread out of this boy. Yeah. Nice, dude. Nice. Oh. Woo! Got a beaver. Hell yeah.